the last thing that I really liked in this movie was just the themes that it had. This movie had three main themes. The first theme is on the idea of legend and legacy. A reoccurring theme in this movie was about the gift and curse of being a legend and how people we consider legends and heroes are in fact just fallible people. We see this play out with Finn and Rose's character, particularly in their first interaction. Rose hero worships Finn when they first meet, addressing him as THE Finn. When Finn tries to explain that he's just a guy, Rose rebuttals by emphasizing that Finn is a hero and recaps the stories that she has already heard. But then Rose quickly realizes that Finn is abandoning ship. He is running away. Not very heroic. I really like this part of Rose's character because I thought she was going to let Finn go, allowing her hero worship to get the better of her. But instead, she realizes that Finn is just a man and remains true to her integrity and stops Finn. As mentioned, this theme of legend and legacy is a huge part of both Kylo Ren and Rey's character. Kylo Ren living in the shadow of his grandfather, trying to be something that he is not. He has to let that go, or as he puts it, let the past die. Kill it if you have to. That's the only way to become what you are meant to be. This is why Kylo Ren destroys his helmet. He is letting go of the legacy that he was attempting to live and is becoming his own character. In a similar fashion, Rey has been searching for her legacy, and in this movie, it is revealed that she doesn't really have one. This is devastating to Rey and causes her to likewise become her own. Of course, where we really see the theme of legacy play out is in Luke's character, who has become a living legend and hates himself for it, for failing as the hero. This plays out in the character itself as one who is given up. This comes out in his dialogue with Rey during the second lesson about how the Jedi failed at the height of their power and allowed Darth Sidious to reign. He then says it was the Jedi that trained Darth Vader. Rey says a very good line here. What about the Jedi who saved them? Obviously referring to Luke himself. To which Luke replies, And I became a legend. He says this so defeated, pointing out that even as the legendary Luke Skywalker, he had failed. After learning one last lesson from Yoda, Luke returns to the fight, living up to his legend and faces the First Order. The movie then ends with the kids playing with some toys, telling the legend of Luke Skywalker, which inspires the kids and ends with hope. I really like how the story explains the gifts and curse of being a legend, the curse being that people are people, even legends are still people and are prone to fail, but it is all the more devastating when they do. The gift being how it inspires hope. There is a really good scene in one of my favorite TV shows, Firefly, where it covers this dynamic. In the episode Janestown, Jane is praised as the hero of the town. Now, if you know the show, Jane ain't no hero. He is a selfish mercenary. He was stealing money, got caught, and had to drop the money to get away. The town thought Jane was being a Robin Hood, stealing from the rich to give to the poor. At the end of the episode, it is revealed to the townsfolk that Jane was just a thief. Nonetheless, one of the townsfolk takes a bullet for Jane, saving his hero. The episode then closes with Jane reflecting on this, not understanding why the town folk still protects him. The captain then says something pretty profound, and is the point to why I bring this all up. The captain says, ain't about you Jane, it's about what they need. Legends are good because they inspire hope. This was the point of the last scene in The Last Jedi. The second theme of this movie is about failure. Everybody fails in this movie. The Resistance fails to escape the car. The First Order fails to destroy the Resistance. Rey fails to bring back Luke. Rey fails to redeem Kylo Ren. Finn and Rose fail to get the Master Codebreaker. Finn and Rose fail again to disable the tracking device. Luke failed Kylo Ren as a teacher. Luke failed to bring back the Jedi Order. The Resistance fails to disable the battering ram. Kylo Ren fails to kill Luke. This was a movie where pretty much everyone failed at what they were trying to do. Failure was a key theme in this movie. But with it was the idea of not giving up when you fail. 
to learn from your failures. As Yoda says, the greatest teacher failure is. The last thing is that not everything is black and white. In fact, it is gray. This is a point that is specifically made by the codebreaker DJ as he talks to Finn about how there really isn't good and evil. When they stole the ship off of Cantobite, DJ shows Finn that the weapon seller that they stole from sold weapons to both the First Order and to the Resistance, the bad guys and the good guys. He encourages Finn to not be part of the system, explaining that it's all made up. This theme is largely played out through the dynamic of Kylo Ren and Rey and what their characters want. At first I thought these characters were opposites from each other, one good, the other evil. While we can say that Rey is on the good side and Kylo Ren is on the bad side, it's really not about good and bad. This particularly plays out between Kylo Ren and Rey in a way I felt very interesting. It's not so much that Kylo Ren and Rey are opposites of each other, it is more accurate that they are the inverse of each other. You see, for both Rey and Kylo Ren, it's not really about good and evil. For Rey, her character arc is more about balance. When she is reaching out with the Force to explore what the Force is, she concludes that it is balance. Notice she didn't even fear the dark side. Whereas Luke was appalled that she went right to it. She was like, yeah, it was trying to show me something. She didn't care that it was the dark side. Even when she jumps in the hole to the dark side cave, she expresses how she wasn't afraid. Rey embraces the dark side because for her, it's not about light and dark. It's about balance. I would like to throw out that balance is the theme of the chosen one as well. The first time we hear about balance in the Force is in connection with the Chosen One, who is to bring balance to the Force. Kylo Ren, on the other hand, doesn't want the opposite of balance, which would be imbalance or chaos. Kylo Ren wants the inverse of balance. Kylo Ren wants nothing, which is a form of balance. But it is the inverse of balance because it is not having anything on any side. It's zero. Kylo Ren explains his motivation to Rey when he says, let it all go. The Sith, the Jedi, Snoke, Luke, the First Order, the Resistance, just let it all go. It is when Rey can't let go that Kylo Ren gets frustrated. I think Kylo Ren is being sincere in his motivation, and it is one that I think is pretty interesting for a bad guy. It's not that he wants to take over or have evil dominate. He just wants it all to be gone. And this makes sense for him because from his point of view, he was betrayed by both Luke and Snoke. So he is like, to hell with both sides. So he wants everything to be nothing, zero, nil. I am very curious how this plays out in the next movie. So these were pretty much all my thoughts, the good and bad. So overall, what did I think of the movie? Well, like I said, I really enjoyed it. And each time I watch it, I like it more and more. As for acting, I thought all the acting in the movie was great, wonderfully casted. I enjoyed everybody's acting in The Force Awakens and felt that everyone upped their game in this one. I will give acting an A+. For directing, I think the directing of this movie was really well done. One of the things I really appreciated in this was the different styles of camera work that had not previously been seen in a Star Wars movie. Many of the shots were just amazing. I love seeing the wide angle shot of Rey practicing with the lightsaber. The action sequences were well directed and interesting. When characters were in danger, I really felt that they were in danger. I will give the directing an A+. As for the screenplay, I did have some issues with the screenplay. Some of the jokes just didn't work. The whole side quest with Finn felt like a waste. Much of Finn's scenes made the movie feel choppy. That being said, I enjoyed the overall theme of the movie and appreciated how the themes connected. I'll give the screenplay a B+. The music. In my first viewing, the music didn't really stand out to me. Clearly John Williams, and he made good use of scores used in previous movies. But the music didn't initially catch my attention. In The Force Awakens, three different tracks immediately impressed me upon my first viewing, which were Ray's theme, 
and the two pieces that were played back to back when Ray traveled to Octu, and then when she climbs up the stairs and searches for Luke. However, in my second viewing of The Last Jedi, I made more of an effort to pay attention to the music, and there were two pieces that caught my attention. The first was Rose's theme music. It was nice, but seemed familiar to me, like a cross between E.T. and Jurassic Park. The one piece of music that I really liked that was unique to this film was when Luke goes out to meet the First Order, my favorite music in the whole film. I'll give music a solid A. My next category is Star Wars Magic. Now, this movie was very different than any other Star Wars movie, and I don't want to penalize it for being different. But some of it just didn't work for me. Again, while watching the Cantobite scene, I remember specifically thinking that it didn't feel like Star Wars. And the ending, while I've come to appreciate it, it is still not a Star Wars way to end. Other than those items, the rest felt pretty much like a Star Wars movie. So I'll give this category a solid B. Overall, I give this movie an A-. It was a really good, well done movie. I enjoyed watching it. I've enjoyed watching it multiple times. My main recommendation is to see the movie at least twice, especially if you have conflicting feelings about the movie. As I stated in the beginning of this review, we first need to see the movie to see what it is, and then we need to see it a second time to judge it based on what it is rather than our expectations. Well, these were my thoughts of The Last Jedi. Feel free to comment your thoughts in the comments below, and may the Force be with you.